Hi, and welcome to Market Conversations. Today is January 21st, and I'm going to be talking about a stock in my portfolio. But before I get started, I just want to let you know that I am not a financial advisor, and this is just for entertainment purposes only. Also, if you don't mind hitting that like button and the subscription button, also leave a comment if you found any value or if you enjoy watching this video, I want to make money as much as you guys do, and I try to share updates with you as soon as I receive them. Okay, so the stock is IBIO. Let's first look at the charts. So we see the spike up after hours from 145 it closed all the way to 185, and that was because IBIO shares are trading higher after cancer, Fitchett Gerald initiated coverage on the stock with an overweight rating and a $3 price target. So guys, it is still under the $3 price target right now. And I've been holding this stock for a while. And that's all I can do is hold the stock and then just wait. Because most of these penny stocks, all you have to do is wait until there's some sort of catalyst. For example, if you guys have bought in, it was beginning of this year on the 12th, it went down to $1.30 and then there was a news that spiked it up all the way up to 187 and that's all you really need is for something like that to happen. Buy when it's down and then sell when there's some sort of big catalyst. Even like today, you guys could have got in this morning, um, I think this morning, what was it? And we look at the charts. This morning it was at 141 and then have sold it. Made a few bucks or so, a few hundred dollars. If we look at the six months charts, we do see it go all the way to 745. I think it was some sort of news that came out back then. And then ever since then, there's haven't been a lot of news, which drove the stock price to go down to a low of 103. So I currently have 5,600 shares at an average price of $2.12. So let's take a look on their website to see what they actually do. IBIO is an innovator biologics company developing therapeutics and vaccines for the betterment of human and animal health with pipeline candidates targeting COVID-19 and classical swine fever. So they have the fast farming and fast gliding platforms provide contract development and manufacturing services via its 130,000 square foot facility in Bryan, Texas. The speed and scalability of fast farming make it an ideal choice for other innovator companies who want to rapidly produce biologics. U.S. patent covering endosatin peptides for treating fibrosis. This is their pipeline right now. They are still in preclinical for the COVID-19. And then we have the fast farming system, which is in the clinical development stage right now. It says IBIO uses fast farming system to quickly produce biotherapeutic and vaccine candidates for unmet medical needs. So definitely keep this on your radar, on your watch list. And if there's any dips, I would highly suggest starting a small position. Because at any time, this could break out. Let's see. It's still hovering around the range that I have. Around 150 in the dollar five so it has not gone past a dollar so that's acting as a very strong support if we go back in april it went down to less than a dollar but then it quickly picked up so we know that is a strong support we can see the 140 is acting as a strong support and now we just have to break the resistance of a dollar eighty and this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this pump all the way up to 745 again. And that's what we're all looking for is for that big run up so we can just sell it. 
And that's what I'm hoping for. I'm holding it at 5,600 shares at $2.12. I'm hoping to get out around 4 to $5. We just need some really good news, guys. And let me know what you guys think of IBIO. There is an overweight rating and a $3 price target. So it is below that. There is still a lot of upside potential in this company. All we have to do is wait. Thanks for watching.